Three pictures tell the story today. The first was taken today. It is of the west side of the classroom building and it shows, with the help of an arrow, the dark gray sheet metal siding being applied to the window area. The second photo is from Stephanie and it shows the same thing happening but from a different perspective. And the third picture is the architect's rendering of how the same picture should look after a healthy dose of 3D software. Well, about a week's worth of events happened today. Monday usually has more deliveries than the rest of the weekdays, and that happened today. The Brundage Bone conveyor arrived and parked up at the north end. The conveyor belt was extended, and gravel was moved first to the garage and then to the classrooms. This gravel came by way of two front loaders going back and forth from the south end. It was then dumped into a hopper and then on to the conveyor belt. The second photo shows the location of where the gravel was coming from. The third photo shows the delivery of drywall or sheetrock to the different levels. The delivery was made by two trucks down at the southeast corner. One had a red crane attached to it. The crane lifted several stacks of sheetrock up to the third level stair landing. Then they were rolled into the building using special dollies that came along with the delivery trucks. Several other stacks of wallboard were taken down to the first level and on into the phys ed building. Other deliveries were made Monday, such as several small trusses on a flatbed truck. The next picture is of a completely different operation that took place down below us in the car lane. A large vertical hole is drilled and then a large pipe is inserted. A garbo bucket was used to fill in around the pipe. See this photo, but I can't tell you the purpose for those vertical pipes. The next to the last picture is of cabinetry being delivered to the gym back door. The cabinetry came from one of the two trailers that the blue cab tractor brought in this morning. And finally, the last photo, Patty's, is of the Brundage Bone conveyor belt in operation in the north end. Tonight should be less of a struggle as compared to Monday. Two routine tasks that took place were the bringing in of gravel using the double dump trucks and the recycle bin exchange today. The usual deliveries consisted of a small flatbed bringing in a chest of 24 at least, four foot long hard steel drill bits. Several other bit sizes and shapes were brought in too. The photo looks like a traffic jam, but this is the area where the drilling is going on. A flatbed brought in a load of crates. They were unloaded down on the east playing field area. Also, a long Fraco piece of scaffolding was delivered. Stephanie provided an up-to-date picture of the main entrance and garage. At about 7.30, a green boomer along with a mixer arrived. The first photo shows them working on the garage walls. Then the red drill, see the picture, started drilling up on Falcon. The green boom pump came down to the south side of the building to do some pours inside there. The next photo is from Patty. It shows the area of the concrete spill on Talus this morning. The last photo is the outstanding photo of the year. The more I look at of what Bill Whitman has done, the more I like it. Note the reflection of the pump in the upper windows. A big crane was used to remove extra styrofoam blocks from the roof. They were placed in the truck and hauled away. Meanwhile, sweepers were at work on the stair landing. We are thinking everything is getting spruced up for Mother's Day. Guests coming to Timber Ridge, so school construction site needs to look good. More forms were removed from the parking garage. A double flatbed tractor plus trailer, brought in a large load of precast concrete boxes. See the picture. I don't often get the chance to take candid shots of the workers or their bosses. Here are six such managers. Long white plastic pipes are placed along the edge of the lower car lane. See the picture. They are poked down into the much larger vertical pipes placed there a few days ago. Presumably, this will all get buried. A green boom pumper is ready to pump for the east wall of the garage. See the first photo. 
as part of the recycle effort, a large modular blue box with the letters NWR was exchanged for another very similar one. Big white styrofoam blocks were dropped off just below the car lanes. See the photos. The last two portables on the south end were moved a skosh to the south. This was most probably done to make room for more vertical drilling. Yes, we got one right. The newfound space between the second and third portables on the right was for the red driller pile driver to get a good position to make or take core samples of the underground water situation. See the first photo. At the risk of being cutesy, the next photo shows the big papa-sized Komatsu excavator being refueled along with a mom-sized Komatsu from the same fuel tanker truck. Lynn gets all the credit on this one. While we can't see the west elevations along Talus Drive, we also can't see the Fraco scaffolding that moves up and down to whatever height you might want it. The photo just barely shows this scaffolding platform with the gate yet. It's at the far right of the picture near the arrow. A surprise here, what we thought might be lightweight insulation is really robust HVAC hardware. Both large packages were unwrapped and delivered somewhere inside the gym. See the photo. Work on Talus Drive continues, probably for the eventual installation of new stoplights to accommodate school traffic. Right now it looks like trenches for conduit. About the first thing that you would expect to see would be Monday morning deliveries. Today, two big trucks with their own cranes arrived at the notable southeast corner of the Phys Ed building. They were delivering lots of sheetrock. See the first picture. The double dump trucks are an often viewed sight. They were doing their usual job today. The second photo shows the sheetrock being unloaded quickly. The third photo is of two different functions being performed. The sheetrock continues to be unloaded to the upper floors, and there it is for all to see, the honey bucket. It is most handy when you need it and most visible when you want to use it. It goes up and down with the scaffolding. The last photo is more about people, not construction. They are all waiting for the bus to the park and ride, and then home. The most significant event today was the poor at the garage. The first photo shows much of this as seen from Southridge, but it doesn't show where the new concrete is going. The second photo shows the area of the poor after the poor was completed. I think by the looks of the forms, you can figure out where the poor was. The last picture shows a procedure that has been going on for almost a year now. It's the making of just cement mortar. In this case, packages of dry cement mix are opened and poured into the mason mix hopper with the help of a handler vehicle because those packages are heavy. Water and other additives as necessary are added. It's turned on and then there is your mortar. We were gone much of the day while our apartment was deep cleaned, but I think it is safe to say that most of the work today occurred in the north end, specifically the garage. The work was a big poor job by the boom pumper with the name of Ralph. The garage floor and the footings in the next bay received most of the concrete. Patty supplied the pictures. The first photo with the bright orange walls shows a half dozen workers. I'm guessing they are starting to hook HVA. See things up. Switches, warning lights, servos, valves, cables, etc. The second picture is of the garage the day after the big pour today. If you look closely on the roof, you can see a workman working on the HVAC. He spends time in the tent also. They are getting the roof HVAC hooked up for this building too. Also, the workers are busy framing up pillars in the garage. The cat dug three trenches to the pipeline, one to the school and two toward the garage. The last photo could be significant. It shows plywood forms being added to the concrete wall around the so-called moat. Does this mean that height extension will go all the way around to the east side and therefore more dirt to be added all the way around? Nothing to show, it's just tell this evening. The big American crane moved out of its parking spot this morning. It's been two weeks in the loading dock. 
and the flag has come down as it would otherwise be in the way. The crane was used to lift the forms off the new concrete walls. Other taller forms went up with the lifting by the crane and then stabilization while the forms were braced to stay up. Very little work was done on the south wall forms. Not to be confused with the far side of the moon. This shot was taken late this morning from Talus Drive, or I should say two shots quickly spliced together. Note the window on the left that goes almost all the way up to the roof line. It is in one of the stairwells, which is behind the trees in the photo. Not much going on today. There was some cleanup.